Welcome to another edition of SBG News and Views. I'm your host, Robert Imbriali. Today, flying solo, and I have an amazing guest with me, the VP of Sales, uh, National Vice President, I should say, of Pet Club 24-7, and also uh, a woman who is certified in pet nutrition. I cannot wait uh, to have a conversation with her because we've been talking a little bit offline and uh, some of the facts and things she's been sharing with me, eye-opening. So, here we go. Let me bring in my guest for today, Kristen Ludlow. Kristen, how are you, my dear friend? I'm great. How are you doing? You look awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to have you on board. And we got some serious topics to talk about our pets. How important, uh, you know, when, when you look at the, a pet in, in a family's life, they literally are family members, aren't they, at some point? Oh, Oh my goodness, there I don't know if you've noticed this, but more millennials today are having pets instead of children. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Real thing that's happening. And you know, I even have a grand fur baby myself. But what's so funny is that people are posting these images online and social media and stuff, dressing their pets up like little human babies with diapers and pacifiers in bibs. It's hilarious. I saw one that had a millennial holding a pregnancy stick that said you're having another dog. <laughs> <laughs> And that was like how she announced it to her family that oh, they were wow. having oh, wow. <laughs> But yeah, our, our pets are our family and they're really important to us. And I think especially with everything that's been going on in the world and all the uncertainty and the fear and everything, having that companionship is has really become therapeutic for a lot of people of knowing that at least if they have their pet, their pet's going to love them unconditionally. Their pet's going to always right. be there for them. And, and it helps people deal with a lot of the anxiety and the fear that they're facing right now in the world. It, and it's true because the pets have no idea what's going on in the world. They just feel our energy and they're, they're, they tend to be very stable and a very uh, pacifying uh, energy that they bring uh, when you've got all this stress going on in your life and you come home and your dog or your cat's there and it's like, oh, this is so nice. You know, <laughs> They're not feeling any of it. It's so fantastic. But there's a challenge, right? Because um, we were talking a little bit earlier about uh, the percentage of dogs, for instance, that uh, some of the, the the pesticides or the foods or whatever that uh, that we're putting out that are not natural to them, because I think if they were in, a, in a, a totally natural environment, that wouldn't happen at all. What do you think? Right. Absolutely. It's very, very rarely is it actually genetic. Most of it is environmental. And like you said, what's in the air, even water sources are getting contaminated for animals. It's it's really sad what's happening. And, you know, we even see it happening with people, you know, and when, when everything's poisoned, the foods that we eat, the, the air, the water, the stuff that we're putting onto our skin, the same thing's happening to our pets. It's all getting contaminated. It's full of chemicals. It's full of poisons. It's full of toxins. And the ancient body, the natural body, ours and our pets' bodies were not designed to be able to process all that synthetic material or all of these chemicals or toxins. It's meant to process natural natural things not not all of this artificial stuff that's going into the body and so yeah. of course just like with a car you know if you don't get it oil and lubed it all gets mucked up and all the systems start breaking down same with their pets bodies you know if it's not being fed whole foods natural things then their bodies just get all messed up and out of balance and it creates a lot of these problems and that's the fact we can't argue with the fact that's the number that's coming out uh, so let's look at it from the perspective of where are they getting sick from? Is it what they're eating? Is it the food? That's the number one source. There's a really good documentary people can watch called Pet Fooled, P-E-T-F-O-O-L-E-D. Oh, I love it. And yeah, they took a look into the pet supply industry. It is a ridiculously profitable industry mm -hmm. for these manufacturers and these companies. They're making billions. I think last year it did $124 billion. Wow. And people understand how big that is like just so you you know that was just in the united states the skincare beauty and weight loss industries combined did not do 124 billion dollars wow that's wow. how much money people are spending on their pets so it's very profitable for these companies and what the pet fool documentary found is that over the course of decades almost 100 years all of these companies and manufacturers have been just a little bit over time exchanging quality ingredients for fillers and, you know, synthetic ingredients. And, you know, they're not naturally sourcing things. And while it may not, we, we can debate over whether this is malicious or intended or not, but that's irrelevant because it's happened. Right. <laughs> that's what's happened over 
several, several decades. And because of these little compromises, little by little compounded over time, we've gotten to the point where the, what they're eating is no longer even considered food. It's not even categorized as foods. So it's, it's gotten us to this place now, uh, epilepsy and seizures, tons of them have our uh, anxiety and stress, which I don't remember any of my pets having anxiety you know, 20, 30 years I was going to say, or... these are all human diseases, right? And and yeah. it's interesting because if you take your pet to the vet, they'll give them chemo, they'll give them uh, dialysis, all the stuff that they would give to humans. I'm like, how are the pets getting the same diseases that humans are getting? Uh, even autoimmune. I have a friend who's giving her dog Prozac for the ch little chihuahua, takes oh, a human wow. Prozac. It wow. Just, it breaks my heart. And, yeah. you know, it, it's something that's just growing and growing and it's such a loosely regulated industry and 80% you know, of us have pets. And the, the thing is not only are more and more of our pets are getting sick, but this is happening at younger and younger ages. You know, 50 years ago, the average golden retriever lived to be 17 years old. Today it's nine. Whoa. And so it's their, their lifespans have been cut in half. And I think of a portion of that is when we have pets and we have to say goodbye to one or we lose one, what do we naturally do? to fill that void. We go adopt another one, yeah. right? <laughs> like yeah. bring another one to our family to love and to take care of. And so in the minds of people who are literally just working for profit and providing for profit, they're replaceable. So it so if they can if things can happen to them at younger and younger ages, then they're making twice as much money. So when we Think talk about, about the food, Kristen, uh, that's that's shocking that they're, I, I just still can't get over the lifespan cut in half over over that period of time. It's crazy. But when we talk about the food, when we talk about, we because you look, look on the packaging, right? You'll see, oh, it's made with chicken. It's made with beef. It's got all that. And then it's got fillers. It's got wheat. It's got rice, that kind of thing. What are we missing when we're looking at that ingredient label? Uh, I'll tell you some key things, you know, as uh, pet being certified in pet nutrition, there are some really key things people need to look for when they're shopping for things for their pets that are overlooked because we don't understand how bad it is. Like I said earlier, it's a very loosely regulated industry. They do not have to tell us what they're putting um, fully into these <laughs> products that we're spending our hard-earned money on. But if you see the word animal byproducts, these are unclean meat sources that could include euthanized animals, Animals that are too sick for human consumption all get sold to pet food manufacturers at a discount. So I always encourage people, if you have anything that says animal byproducts on it, it could be toxic. I would just get rid of it completely. Also, a lot of these, even the higher end brands are flash cooking their foods around 400 degrees, which chars the kibble. And 80% of us have our pets on a kibble diet because it's more convenient. And it's more affordable. It's right. not the optimal diet, but it's what the majority of us are doing. And because it's charred, there's all these carcinogens now mm. that are present in the food. Again, a byproduct of the cooking process that does not have to be disclosed to any of us. A lot of these companies, even though they're made in the USA, are importing their ingredients from overseas in these ingredients. So those are some things to really look for. Stay away from anything sy synthetic like preservatives, sugars, dyes, like artificial coloring, um, fillers. A lot of people don't know that many brands are using cheap protein fillers like peas, beans, or lentils added to the food, which are okay in small amounts, but it's too nutritionally dense for them to be able to digest. And it stresses out their hearts and causes conditions like DCM. So if you look on your ingredients list and you see peas, beans, or lentils listed, especially multiple times within the first five ingredients, too nutritionally dense for them. It can cause major heart problems for them. I always tell people there's an easy test you can do. Just take a piece of the kibble that you're feeding your pet and drop it into a bowl of water. If it expands, that means that there are fillers in it. A lot of times you'll see it swells up two to three times its normal size. Mm -hmm. That means there are fillers in that food. So imagine your pet's eating all this dry food and then they instantly go chug water to try to rehydrate themselves. And all that food is now expanding inside of their stomachs. And it's really uncomfortable for them. Like a lot of times they'll get lethargic or bloated, sometimes even throw up. So, I mean, I could go on and on. We do have um, an article actually on our website that we put together because there are so many ingredients to avoid. You can't really know them all. So I always encourage people do some research, like look, look 
check that out and see the research that's been done. See the specific ingredients to avoid so that we can make better choices for our pets and make sure that we're giving them what's best for their bodies and giving them food that not only they're going to be able to process more comfortably, but that's actually going to fuel them, not just fill them up, you know, and then or or give them some type of sugar high and make them crave more and overeat, which is why so many of our pets have diabetes and, yeah. you know, obesity problems today. I can see people going, uh, going, grabbing the cat food bag or the dog food bag and looking at the ingredients right now. And some of them are going to be tossing it away and say, no more. I'm not doing this to my pet anymore. But uh, yeah, that's uh kind of interesting okay we got to do the uh, the kibble test in the water that got to try that for sure <laughs> got to see what's going on there i haven't thought about well, that but yeah, yeah that may be something project yeah my next <laughs> science project that's exactly right <laughs> uh so uh you represent a company that uh has a different outlook on pet food completely pet club 24 7 and uh you know there's there's a, a way around this about giving your your pets uh more nutritious food that actually is good for them without all the additives and all the fillers and all the that's in the food. It's kind of shocking to think that that would be on the market, but you're right. There's no FDA for pet food. So, you know, they don't have the regulation that they need to follow. Yeah. One thing that we really learned over these ugh, several years now is that an all natural approach, really giving them access, like we believe in giving them access to all of the resources that are just available for them out in nature, mm -hmm. because they're completely dependent on us. And my shirt even says, be a voice for those that don't have one. Like we're their voice. They're, they're completely dependent on us to make good choices for them. So it just makes sense to give them natural options, natural whole foods, you know, supplements that they have access to in nature and that they use animals, dogs, cats, horses, all kinds of animals in nature use these natural uh, supplements that we are able to offer to people. And, you know, we try to make them as accessible as possible and, and as affordable as possible, because you could have the best thing in the world. And if the average household doesn't have access to it, then it doesn't matter. Like what, how great of an impact are you really going to make, you know? Yeah. So yeah, our company is really big on just giving them natural supplementation and helping their bodies to function the way that they were designed to. And it all really comes down primarily to their own immune system. Just like for you and me, your immune system is your body's first defense against everything. It is the best thing that we can possibly do for their bodies. And so that's why we have taken a very heavily studied mushroom. There are over 400 clinical trials and studies that have been done on this mushroom worldwide from the top institutions. And we take a very potent strain of that and we put it into treats and gravies and you know, foods and just really fun way to give it fun ways to give it to your pets so that we can know that they're getting that immune support. And what's amazing is that once the body has the natural support that it deserves, seemingly miraculous things start to happen. And most pet parents are noticing positive changes within just like a week or so. Yep. That's how fast the body responds when it's processing what it was intended to process. And so it's been really encouraging as we've been educating people and letting them know why they're experiencing what they're experiencing, but then also connecting them with natural resources that are so much more effective for their pets. It's been so encouraging to see what's been happening as we've watched animals, you know, get out of really expensive treatments and medications and, you know, regular trips to the veterinarian, which can be really costly for people. Once the body just starts eating natural foods and getting natural supplements, it's really, really exciting. I've seen it. Uh, the vets find them easier to remove there than in the neck, right? Uh, what they used to do. Exactly. And, you know, within a week they were gone. Couldn't feel them anymore. Yep. Completely mm -hmm. gone, blown away. And the cat is is uh, totally renewed. It's not the same animal anymore. It's really amazing to see he's acting like he's two instead of 14. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. <laughs> That's crazy in a good way. We get all these calls all the time. My dog's acting like a puppy again. My cat is like a kitten again. Yeah. You know, they, they're feeling younger. I had one lady that sent me a picture of her backyard and there were just holes everywhere in the backyard. And she sent me this picture with the bawling, crying emoji. Uh -huh. And I was like, I couldn't tell if this was a good or bad thing. And I was like, oh my goodness, what happened? Right? I didn't know what to think. I said, what happened? And she's like, he's digging holes again. I'm so grateful. He used to do this when he was a puppy and he hasn't done it in years. And now he's playing again and digging holes. Wow. And 
to his old self and I'm like, okay, this is a good thing, <laughs> you know, but goodness, I mean, we we're getting these stories after stories, um, animals with gum and teeth problems, the body's able to fight back against those on its own. It's fully equipped to do that. We have animals that are scheduled for surgeries because they have meniscus tears, you know, ligament tears mm -hmm, in their right. body. And uh, they schedule the surgeries a few months out. Usually when you have those types of things, they start giving them these cookies or they, they we have these little cookies called the mush puppies or we have this little gravy called the super sauce. They start getting that into their system. And a month or two later, when they go to do their pre-op, they're like, oh, we don't need to have the surgery anymore. It's completely healed itself. That's incredible. Yeah. $5,000 surgery, yeah. you know? Yeah. But people don't know that the immune system is fully equipped to repair and rebuild the body. You know, bones, ligaments, tendons, muscles, all of those things. Uh, we have a dog named Zenta who really has been like our angel with Petco 24-7 because she was scheduled to be put down. She was um, almost 15 years old. And when they took her in, she had this really bad autoimmune disease that was causing her hair to come out in clumps. Her mm. pop hat literally peel off. Oh. When she hit the asphalt, her eyes were widened over. She was blind and she couldn't even walk anymore. She was in so much pain. When they, when, they, when they went to take her in, they just couldn't do it. She was still eating. So something inside of them said, no, she's not ready yet. So they took her back home, posted this on social media. So, of course, we reached out to them instantly and said, have you heard of this mushroom? Have you heard of these mush puppies, these little treats? And they're like, no, but we have nothing to lose. Let's give it a try. And at the very least, maybe it would give her like a better quality of life because the vet gave her just like a month or so to live. Right. So we started giving her these little cookies. Four days later, she's walking again. A week and a half later, she jumps on the couch. And by the end of the month, her paw pads were healing. Her fur was growing back in. Her eyes were clearing up. So at that point, they took her off of all the narcotics and steroids. And she was solely on these mushroom products. She lived another four and a half years. Wow. She was 19 and a half years old. Wow. Where she was ready to go. And during that four and a half years, she was going on five mile hikes in the mountains. She was swimming in the lake. Like she had a completely different quality of life. And it just chills me to my core to think if they would have, wouldn't have followed their gut, you know, and if, because they followed their gut, they got four and a half more amazing years with her. And we're just seeing this over and over. We had a horse, a mounted patrol officer in Boulder City down here that had Cushing's disease where he could barely walk. He would, his gait was all messed up and he uh, started taking these horse cakes called the mush ponies. <laughs> and a couple days later, he, he kind of started walking normal again and then he was doing fine. Three weeks after that, Shania Twain came to Las Vegas to film a commercial on Fremont Street. And she in like she picked any of the mounted patrol officers that she wanted to go down Fremont Street on, and she picked Odie. Oh wow. The one who three weeks earlier couldn't even walk. Wow. And out of all of them, she picked him. So we're seeing I, I can go on and on, dogs, cats, horses, all kinds of pets of of what's been happening once these animals get that natural support into their system. We always encourage people because they ask, well, will it help with this? Will it help with that? Really, there's only one way to find out. You just get it into their systems and watch their immune systems go to work. And like I said, you'll notice relatively quickly, like you'll definitely know within 30 days if it's making a positive impact on your pet. But yeah, it's really, really exciting. And we're really grateful that we're a part of this. You know, we're truly trying to change the way pets and people are being treated and, and change the world one pet at a time. And you've done really so. well with the pricing too. It's not uh, that different than the, the the garbage you're buying in the grocery store too, which is fantastic. People have no idea. It, it, in a lot of instances, it's half the price of what you can even find online. And we don't use any fillers. We don't, we use very pure and potent strains, which is why we have the thousands of testimonials that we have is because it's a very pure and potent strain. So sometimes people will look at the bag and they'll say, well, that, you know, let's say it's $20, you know, for a bag of mush puppies. Well, when you go look online for the Coriolis Versicolor supplements, they're anywhere from 20 to $80 a month that you're spending on it. And it's yeah. not near as potent as what we're getting in these little cookies. So it, that's our heart. That's our heart is to get it into as many households as we can, get as many animals, every pet, taking this mushroom every day through their foods and through their treats and through the gravies that they're eating and 
And really, we hope that we can make a, a really big impact in the pet population. We see it all the time, Kristen, in our in our chat room. People, when we talk about Pet Club 24-7, people are typing in there. My dog, my cat is doing so much better. Thank you so much for bringing this to our attention. Uh, so we're getting we're getting the testimonials, too. And you know, although they're just little chats, they're not quite uh, the full testimonials. Sometimes people will email us pictures of their, their pets and, and uh, let us know where the transformations it is incredible to see it it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing so folks mm -hmm. if you want to try this i suggest you give it a, a shot at least what Kristen, 30 days give it a shot and see how it works out on your pet yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so and there's uh, no oh, sorry there's no risk we have a 30-day money-back guarantee there's no risk we really just want to help we want to help as many animals as we can so we just encourage people give it a try yeah your heart is in this clearly, uh, and uh, if you guys are looking for the link, the link is in the lower third below, and it's also in the description of the video. You can find it there, and uh, I suggest you give this a shot, uh, you know, and not just because your pet is sick. Prevention is the best cure, right? So, uh, you know, get them on good food, nutritious food, great supplementation, the mushrooms, get them on that before they get sick. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Then they don't have to get to that point where you have to make those tough decisions. That's the whole point is giving them a good quality of life while we have them. So we don't ever have to get to that place. Yep. Because that's not where we want to be. Okay. Okay. Kristen, you are amazing. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate you. And uh, like I said, folks, the link is below and uh, please check it out. Uh, I think you're really going to like what you find. Thanks for watching.